And we are following a developing story out of New Haven at this hour. Police are on the scene of an active investigation. This is going on right now at 301 George Street. Let's get right out to News 8 Stephanie Galehard for the very latest. Stephanie. Brian, the crime scene tape has been up here for several hours here on George Street. And this is the site of the old Salvation Army building, a place where homeless people are known to hang out. Investigators have been in and out of this building much of the morning. They were up on the roof a short time ago, and it appeared to me they were focusing much of their investigation up on the roof. The big question, have they found more severed body parts? At this point, police aren't saying much. On July 15th, severed human legs and arms were found by the State Street train station. Thanks to DNA analysis, we learned the human legs were those of 54-year-old Ray Robertson, a homeless man. The severed arms have not yet been matched to his DNA. Last we heard, police were using cadaver dogs to search for more body parts in an unspecified area of the city where Robertson was likely living. It is possible this old Salvation Army building could be the place. This investigation leaves many who work nearby frightened. We're really nervous. My whole department, we keep taking turns coming outside to see if we can get answers, so it's a little scary right now. That woman and other people who work nearby are anxious to know if more body parts have been found this time here on George Street. This is a developing story, and of course, News 8 will continue to update you. We'll have the very latest starting at 5 o'clock. Reporting live in New Haven, Stephanie Galehard, News 8.